This is a moral obligation. This is something we have to do. Don't wait for the courts. Don't wait for the White House. You are an independent branch of our government. You have the power to condition, continue aid to Iraq on making them behave like civilized people toward this group of brave refugees. You have the power. You have the power to enforce a life and death contract that the United States government made with the residents of Camp Ashraf that in exchange for their giving up their inherent right to defend themselves and their families, they gave up that right in exchange for a promise of protection. We have not protected them. Instead, we have exposed them to violence, to death, to injury. 52 murdered in cold blood, total of 116 killed, hundreds more wounded, seven hostages taken, nearly 3,000 vulnerable to further attack. One of the first things put into the Constitution by Alexander Hamilton was the fact that you cannot broach contracts, you cannot violate contracts. That became an essential part of the America promise to the world. You do business with us, we will keep our promise. We will maintain our contracts. There is no good reason for why the United States has not kept its promise. There aren't even bad reasons. But we haven't been told what the reasons are. Instead, we get silence, we get circumlocution from people who can't justify their action. This is not a collateral issue. This is not a political peripheral issue. This is a central issue morally, politically, and legally. Please do justice. Thank you very much.